Good evening, I'm Greg Floyd. Hi everyone, I'm Liz Bishop. New York Supreme Court has tossed out the murder convictions of a man who shot and killed three members of his family. This was in 2011. The stunning decision comes more than three years after Matthew Slocum was sentenced to life for killing his mother, stepfather, and stepbrother, and then setting their house on fire. Tonight, CBS 6's Hubert Wiggins joins us live in the studio with a reaction from Slocum's lawyer. Thank you, Greg and Les. The July 2011 shooting deaths of Dan and Lisa Harrington and Dan Harrington's son, Joshua O'Brien, shocked the community of White Creek in Washington County. The community was further divided when Lisa Harrington's son, Matthew Slocum, was charged with the crime. After his conviction and life sentence in March 2012, everyone thought the case was over until today when the convictions were overturned. A relative of the victims tells CBS 6 the family is upset about today's ruling and their faith in the criminal justice system has been shaken. Public defender Michael McCure, who represented Slocum in the criminal trial, successfully argued the appeal. In July 2011, Matthew Slocum shot and killed his mother, stepfather, and stepbrother, set fire to the house, and left the area. He was eventually tracked down by authorities. Public defender Michael Mercure found out that Slocum was in police custody and sent a letter to prosecutors telling them he was Slocum's lawyer and that he did not want Slocum to be questioned by detectives. The court found that the, defendant, the defendant's response to whether or not he wanted an attorney um, invoked his right to counsel. And at that point, um, the investigators needed to stop interrogating the defendant. The court said basically the police made a mistake in not letting Slocum talk to his attorney before they began asking him questions about the triple homicide. Quote, and as much as we conclude that defendant was denied his right to counsel during police questioning, we reverse the conviction, partially grant defendants previously denied motion to suppress and direct a new trial, unquote. The new trial will not take place in Washington County, but rather in Albany County. A spokesman for the Albany DA's office declined comment, but Mercure anticipates the prosecution will appeal today's ruling. I anticipate that the people will seek leave for permission to appeal uh, to the Court of Appeals. Slocum was sentenced to 88 years to life. He will remain incarcerated as the process to start a new trial unfolds. Mercure says he will not try to get Slocum out on bail pending the retrial, given the sensitive nature of the case. It's not lost on us the gravity of the situation in that uh, this is still a triple homicide and that this is still a pending triple homicide. So, uh, But we're very grateful that the court considered uh, the issues that we raised on appeal. And that decision today by the Supreme Court was unanimous. No date has been set for the retrial. Liz, Greg.